Hi, I'm Phil Ashey from the American Anglican Council with your weekly Anglican Perspective. I'm standing here in front of St. Andrew's Cathedral on this Reformation Sunday, October 29, some 500 years after Martin Luther in 1517 nailed his uh, 95 Theses to the door of the Wittenberg Castle Church. I'm here for some Anglican meetings, but we just celebrated Reformation Sunday. And it reminded me of, uh, of all that we need to celebrate in the Reformation. Uh, here in this uh, rather steamy place in Singapore, uh, you know the gospel spread precisely because of the Reformation, because of its faith in an open book, the Bible, the word that is greater than all other words, the word, uh, that one little word, that can fell Satan himself, as Martin Luther wrote in his wonderful hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. That Reformation spread from Germany uh, to the Continental Reformers and especially through Thomas Cranmer. And one can see the truth throughout our own prayer book in the emphasis on grace and the comfortable words and, and the confidence we have in God that, that goes right back to the second stanza of a mighty fortress is our God. Did we in our own strength confide our striving would be losing? You see, it's not about our striving to be right with God. Good works, uh, trying to do good works, even to attract God's grace and mercy, no, no. Luther and the reformers said, you see, it's grace, sola gratia. It's by grace we are saved and that delivers us from strivings. It delivers us from strivings that, that would never get us close enough to God. It delivers us from performance anxieties. In our own age, it delivers us from the kinds of strivings to live a good life or to be politically correct or to change the world. It's all about Jesus. That second stanza says it so well in A Mighty Fortress. We're not the right man on our side the man of God's own choosing. Dost ask whom that may be, Christ Jesus it is he, Lord Sabaoth his name, from age to age the same, and he must win the battle. You see, the Reformation is all about Jesus Christ. He is the man of God's own choosing to deliver us from sin, sickness, and eternal separation from God, from habits, hurts, and hang-ups, that keep us alienated from God and each other. It's Jesus who must win the battle. And as Christians, because of that recapturing of biblical truth, we have confidence in Christ that he must win the battle. We know how the story ends. So church, happy birthday on this Reformation Sunday. Happy birthday for recovering those great solas of the Reformation, sola fide, only by faith, sola gratia, only by grace, soli deo gratia, solely for the glory of God. May we celebrate this great Reformation that continues not only from 1517, but right into our present day in renewal movements throughout the Anglican Communion to recover the clarity and the authority of God's word.